I don't think anybody of my generation really expected to go to war at that level. The notion of 50,000 personnel and 150 plus RAF aircraft going to war, no. I mean, it was, we were the Cold War warriors. We never, I, I said, never expected to go to war. Unless Saddam Hussein gets out of Kuwait and goes back to Iraq, we will invite you to forcibly remove him with your allies. It was incredible to be part of. It was just a massive force. The firepower we witnessed this afternoon was four times that of the guns used at the Battle of El Alamein. We were the second major wave of attack. So the first wave went out at midnight-ish to, to hit around kind of three, four o'clock local time in total darkness. And we were the um, first daylight attack, attacking an airfield in southeastern Iraq. It all went wrong. Uh, myself and my pilot were shot down, captured. How oh, you have been shot down? I was shot down by an Iraqi system. I do not know what it was. It was, I would say, one of the last truly successful conflicts. Uh, and I say that because if people have forgotten what Granby Operation Desert Storm was about, it was United Nations mandated. The world came together to evict Iraq from Kuwait. Iraq had invaded, brutalized, occupied Kuwait. The world came together to say, you can't do that. This is a victory for the United Nations, for all mankind, for the rule of law, and for what is right. Somebody once said, somebody said to me, uh, it was a World War II veteran, and they said, John, you're part of history now too. And I thought, I'm not old enough to be part of history, but I am. It's 30 years ago, you know, or as I like to think of it, it's 30 years and four stone ago now. You know, it's a, it's a long time ago. So I am part of history, I guess.